morning. My name is Dr. Hillel Mazansky, and I specialize in medical hypnotherapy, guided visualization, nutrition, and exercise. My website being giannc.com. It is the exercise portion of my speciality that we're going to discuss today. And the name of the health tip is The Greatest Workout. All what I'm going to discuss today does not have to be done at a gym. If you don't be, if you don't go to a gym, it can be easily accomplished by doing it at home. Exercise is divided into two types. Cardiovascular, which exercises the heart and blood vessels and keeps them in tone. And two, resistance training that tends to build muscles. Now, especially females, you don't have to work out that your muscles build so large. Just do the exercises because when you do resistance training exercises, it stimulates the metabolism and one loses weight. So here are the greatest workout tips. First of all, walking. Whether you walk outside or you walk in a mall or you walk on a treadmill, walking is extremely beneficial for health. Studies have proved that all that's necessary is 20 to 30 minutes six days a week. You start off slowly for five or ten minutes and then increase slowly the distance and then increase the speed. And before you know what's what, on the treadmill or uh, in the street, you'll be walking nearly an hour, perspiring a great deal, and the more you perspire, the healthier it is for your heart, and you secrete endorphins, which is the feel-good hormone. So that's walking. The next thing is called interval training. When you train, whether it's walking on the treadmill or on the Stairmaster or just walking outside, do not do it all at the same speed. Do a little bit faster and then come back to your resting uh, uh, speed and then do it. Alternating fast and slow, at fast and slow is called interval training. That is far more beneficial for the heart and for weight loss than just straight training. The next thing is abdominal crunches. Abdominal crunches are extremely beneficial to tighten the abdominal muscles. You lie on your back with your legs on the ground, put your head on the palms of your hand, and then flex your abdomen. Do not flex the neck, flex the abdomen. That's called abdominal crunches. Then there's the quadriceps strengthening exercises is uh, called lunges. You lunge forward on one leg and lunge forward on the one leg and alternate both legs standing upright and lunging forward. The all-time great is push-ups. Nothing but nothing can beat push-ups. And you start off again with a few and then increase as you go on. It is extremely important for you to keep your body in tone because later on in life, especially in females, it helps prevent osteoporosis of the spine and the leg. So those are most probably the most important. I haven't said much about the upper arms, but the upper arms you can do what is called the boat rowing, where you can lift a small weight to, uh, for your biceps, and then they pull down exercises for your triceps, uh, but those have to more or less be done at a, a gym. But if you want more information about how the exercises are done, just Google the exercise and they will show you with a picture how it's done. It is recommended that we all exercise at least six times a week. 
about 20 to 30 minutes walking and about uh, 20 to 30 minutes of resistance training. Also to help with resistance training is to buy a rubber band and that uh, rubber band you can get it at a sports store and you pull it in both directions using your arms and your legs and that works uh, extremely well as well. Do these exercises regularly, adhere to my nutrition uh, tips and you will live a longer, healthier, happier life. My name is Dr. Hilo Mazansky and I thank you for listening to this health tip.